immunoserology, visualized lab experiments. An immunochromatographic assay for syphilis. Syphilis spectrum of the disease. Trypanema pallidum causes venereal syphilis. Thus, it is transmitted through sexual contact. Sexual contact is the primary route of transmission. It may also be transmitted from mother to fetus during pregnancy or at birth, resulting in congenital syphilis. Mode of transmission. Syphilis is almost always spread by direct contact because pathogenic tryponemes are rapidly destroyed by heat, cold, and drying out. The three modes of transmission include sexual, congenital, and parenteral exposure. The primary mode of dissemination is, of course, sexual transmission. It occurs through abraded skin or mucous membranes coming in contact with an open lesion. While congenital transmission happens, when pregnant women in the latent infections can transmit the disease to their unborn, while parenteral exposure happens through contaminated needles or blood, but these things happen extremely rare. The appearance of a chancre, which is a painless ulcer, characterizes a primary syphilis, usually the most common site of inoculation is on the genitalia. Within three to six weeks, the shrinker heals. Whenever there is dissemination of the organism, that is, primary syphilis. Secondary syphilis happens whenever there is systemic dissemination of the organism. Its signs and symptoms include generalized lymph adenopathy, malaise, fever, pharyngitis, and a rash on the skin and mucous membranes, including the palms and soles. Thus, the skin is the organ most commonly affected during secondary syphilis. Moreover, neurological signs are also observed. The lack of clinical symptoms characterize the latent stage. Here, patients are non-infectious during this time, with the exception of pregnant women, who can still transmit the disease to their fetuses. Tertiary syphilis occurs most often between 10 and 30 years of following the secondary stage. The three major manifestations of tertiary syphilis include gummas, cardiovascular disease, and neurosyphilis. What are gummas? Gummas are localized areas of granulomatous inflammation, often found in bones, skin, and the subcutaneous tissue. They contain lymphocytes, epithelial cells, and fibroblastic cells. Thus, they represent host response to infection. The thing with gummas, they heal spontaneously with scarring or will remain destructive areas of chronic inflammation. General info for the SD BioLine Syphilis 3.0 one-step syphilis antibody test. It is a solid phase immunochromatographic assay for the qualitative detection of antibodies of all isotypes, IgG, IgM, and IgA against Tryponema pallidum in human serum, plasma, or whole blood. One-step syphilis antibody test. This is a one-step qualitative immunochromatographic assay. It is the optimal choice for mass screening programs. There is no need for pre-processing and equipment. The performance is for sensitivity 99.3% and for the specificity it's 99.5% versus TPHA. For the assay materials, we need to have the test device, the assay diluent, and for the patient's sample, we can either have plasma, serum, or whole blood. Number one, add the specimen. Dispense 10 microliter of plasma, serum, or 20 microliter of whole blood into the sample well. Two, Add the assay diluent. Dispense 4 drops of the assay diluent into the sample well. 3. Read the results. It is negative if only a red line is seen in the control zone and not on the test zone. Positive if both control and test zones show a red line. Invalid if there is only a red line in the test zone and there is nothing in the control zone. And still invalid if both control and test zones got none of the red line.